I'm going to continue using uh, this PRG demo to actually show you how to use flash attributes. Suppose now I want to in my thank you page, okay? I want to in my thank you page to display the information about the order you submitted on the page. So how to do that is here, this one, this order, when the spring will do the data binding for you and it's going to put in the model uh, as an attribute, by default, it's going to be in the request scope and um, the key going to be the type of this variable, which is a class order and you make it to using the lowercase, okay? So if I, in my thank you GSP, I want to say order name. Do I have a name? Uh, I think the thing, I think it's a product. Sorry, let me change. How about I add an, uh, a product name, right? So here, I, in my thank you, I have a product uh, purchased. Okay, and I have a dollar sign called the order dot product name. And then another one is paragraph uh, product uh, purchased con quantity. Okay. And the order dot, what's the name? Oh, just the quantity. Okay. Quantity, sorry, quantity. Now, if uh, let me redeploy the project and you will see nothing going to be displayed in thank you because here I'm using redirect. Okay. Uh, let me redeploy. Okay, it's uh, redeployed successfully, and I'm gonna switch to the Chrome. Oh, sorry, uh, this is my channel videos. Okay, sorry for that. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to the color and the quantity I want is five. Okay, this is a form. When I place an order, it will gonna go to my post mapping and in my post mapping it's gonna redirect to success pay success uh, get a mapping method and it's gonna display the thank you page when I place an order you will see here has nothing to show because of the PRG pattern I use right and now the problem is how to solve I really want to my uh, order information displayed on the thank you page one solution could be you put it in a session and uh, then you remove from a session by yourself manually, which is not that efficient. And the Spring, Pro, Spring MVC provides you another attribute called a flash attribute. And how to do that? You're using redirect attributes. Okay. And uh, in just before you return, you can use redirect attributes that add flash attribute. You can give a key value pair. Suppose I want to give the key is place the order and the value is a order, okay? The value is this order. And what the Spring MVC do is he will put this order, okay, this order and into the session scope and the key to retrieve the order is called a place the order, okay? And then uh, just after the thank you page is uh, rendered, then it's going to remove this order from the session attribute for you. So this place the order can only be used once inside the thank you page. So if you reload the thank you page, it won't work. 
because it's already removed. So let me change the thank you page to using this key, okay? Using this key. And then I'm gonna redeploy and show you the behavior. Good, it's uh, deployed successfully. And then I'm gonna uh, switch to the Chrome again. Okay, and here I'm gonna use is to go to our form and add a cola and add a 99 and place an order. So this is our success page, okay? And so this is my first time to view this thank you page. So you can see cola, you can see the quantity. But now let me click this one to reload this page. Reload. Now you cannot see because the flash attributes gonna be removed automatically from a session scope after the page is rendered. And when I click this reload, this is not the first time you load the page. You are actually make a request call directly to slash success, which is directly to visit that thank you page. So you cannot see the flash attributes anymore. So after this video, I hope you understand the flash attribute. And uh, let me switch back and talk about another scenario about uh, the flash attribute method, okay? Last one. In the flash attribute, you can give a key, you can give the value. You also can, it also have a overload method just called the flash attribute. Suppose I just put the order here, okay? Uh, you can also change this one to be O. This one to be O and this one to be O. So if I put uh, directly put this O here, what's the key to retrieve the information about the order? You have to take a look at what's the type of this O variable. The type of this O is the order. This is type. Then the key gonna be the class name, but uh, make sure the first letter of your class name or the type of name to be the lowercase. So to retrieve this information, uh, to retrieve this uh, flash attribute, you have to using the order. Okay. So it's your own. It's your choice. You can give a uh, explicitly, explicitly attribute name uh, or key. You can also use the implicit one. Personally, I prefer this one because I know what I'm gonna do. Okay. Um, this one you have to remember the. A convention okay so I will deploy again and show you it still works okay I will change our thank you page using the order instead of placed order and then I change the I comment this one uh, make guarantees gonna use this one okay I deploy Okay, and then I'm gonna switch back to the Chrome. And I'm gonna go to the our form page, okay? Form page. Now I'm gonna have a cola. Let me use something else, product. I just bought a coffee. So quantity is one and place an order. You will see coffee and one and when I reload, Reload means make a call to this get, which is a success thank you page. And, uh, uh, and also the flash attributes are already removed from a session. So you will see nothing here. So this now uh, this video is talking about flash attribute. And uh, I hope uh, after this video, you understand uh, all the things about the flash attributes. Uh, so if you still have any questions, you can leave a comment below and you can also download the source code in the description link and uh, see you next time. Uh, enjoy your day.